Harper County's local television network, TSPN. And now TSPN's proud to present Monday with Monique. Welcome to TSPN TV. I'm Monique Grosaday, and you're watching Mondays with Monique. And this Monday, we have Albert Sandoval from Slough House Restaurant in Slough House outside of Rancho Marietta. Great to have you on the show again. Oh, Such a pleasure. For back. Yeah, <laughs> I'm excited to have you here. Um, so, how were the holidays? How was it? It was. Uh, it was fun. I got Christmas off. Got to see some of the family, but you know, uh -huh. life of a cook. Christmas yeah. off, and then right back to it. So. Was the restaurant closed on Christmas Day? Christmas Day, we were close. Oh, good. Yeah. You know, That's Got to cool. have the family time and stuff. So. Yeah, but then you worked pretty much every other day, right? Yeah, pretty and much I, every day. And I was just whining because I was saying, oh, gee, two week break is over, you yeah. know, from school because I go to University of Phoenix. So mm -hmm. today's first day of class again. Today's first day of work for the new year for me, <laughs> which is awesome. I love what I do. So I was actually looking forward to it. And I kind of like my schedule. Like, you know, you have to wake up this time to get this done. When you're on break, I just feel like. You know, is it AM or PM? I don't even know what day yeah. it is. You know, it's yeah. just kind of weird. <laughs> and you know, I wake up, my room's super, super dark, and I'm like, oh, is that the light out or is that the moon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was a fun, fun time though. Um, past couple weeks, you know, um, hung out with the family. We went to the grill at the Fairmont in San Jose, which is one of my all-time favorite um, restaurants in San Jose. Okay. And uh, my aunt and my other aunt and my daughter and my niece and her boyfriend and. We just really kind of, you know, had a nice dinner on um, Christmas Eve, and then Morgan and I stayed at the Fairmont. On Christmas Day, in the morning, we wake up in this, like, big, huge, cushy bed, yeah. and I look at her, and she looks at me, and I go, pretty good, huh? She goes, she goes yeah, life's good, Mom. <laughs> that was great. Like yeah. I, said, I, had a, I had, you know, family time on Christmas Day, so that was good, and then back, back to it, and uh, New Year's Eve, we had a... A pretty fairly good crowd, and it was it was just nice. I mean, I like breaks, but at the same time, I'm I'm a chef, so I like to get back to work. Mm -hmm. It's not really work to me when I love doing it. So right. it was fun, and you know, we had a good menu. We had a lot of people come out and mm -hmm. steak and lobster, so Ooh. it was great. Yeah. And so, tell me about the steak and lobster. What was the preparation style? Well, I just uh, basically I steamed the lobster tail, and then I grilled it, put a little garlic butter on it to finish it, and then we did a eight ounce cut baseball sirloin. Okay. Then you get your choice of baked potato or mash, and we had veggies on there. Sounds really, really good. Yeah, yeah. it was a great. It was and a great I think meal. throwing it on the grill at the end is like the smart part because you get some of the lines on there. Kind of mm -hmm. looks like it's just freshly cooked. Yeah, I bet you it was great. Yeah, Garlic butter. That, yeah, gives it that little extra mm, flavor. Yum. So. <laughs> <laughs> Where was I? I Should have been there, huh? <laughs> It was fun, like I said. That's so. neat. We did pretty much the same thing on New Year's. Um, we went to the Fairmont again, and they have this just awesome party in the lobby. It starts like at 9, a big live band, people dancing, you know, mostly everybody's dressed up because, you know, it's, it's a nice hotel. And, um, it's just a cool group of people, you know, and, yeah. and it's fun. And then at midnight, they have like all these balloons kind of lined up in a net, and they let them down, and, you know, and they watch the ball drop too uh, on the big screen. and. That was just awesome. I loved it. Loved it. Yeah, yeah. I bet that was pretty fun. I so did you do anything late. New Year's Eve after you're done cooking? I got out pretty late. You know, I got to see my brother and stuff, which was good. But other than that, you know. Yeah. Did you work New Year's Day too? New Year's Day, actually, we didn't. We had that one off too. Oh, so that nice. Was kinda, that was kind of good. Because that's exhausting. New Year's Eve is a big night. Mm -hmm. We were just, you know, talking off camera here before the show started how stressful the kitchen environment can be and how the timing is like everything mm -hmm. and people start to crumble as far as the staff. It gets stressful because they work so many days in a row from mm -hmm. like Thanksgiving till New Year's Day. And it's just, you know, it's tough in there, huh? It's tough. But like I said, it's just when, when you like to do something, you, you just kind of handle the perks and you know the bad bads of everything every job has their bad parts absolutely but if you can handle the stress in the kitchen then you'll be fine but if you can't i don't recommend yeah, going into the kitchen yeah do something else yeah, <laughs> yeah it's not because there's, there's always a little yelling here and a little you know hurry up on that mm -hmm. and yeah, I love, you know, I like fast-paced environment, so it works really well for me. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, sometimes the servers are, like, so stressed. Yeah. And they come in, and they just go, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, yeah, I can't cook it any faster than it cooks. Mm -hmm. You know, it just takes that much time. But It's always best just to say, okay, and nod your head, and then. Yep, I heard you. <laughs> yep, I got <laughs> it. Then you get the food out, and everybody's happy, so. 
Exactly. That's, that's and then at the end of the night, everybody's like, oh, that was a good night. Mm -hmm. We made money. Everybody's happy now. Then you, <laughs> then you gotta clean the kitchen. And now you're in the suburbs. <laughs> you're so tired. Oh, yeah. And you're going, oh, can't we do that in the morning? Yeah. <laughs> but, but you can't leave the kitchen dirty. So no. It's a faux pas, mm -hmm. apparently. Yeah. So what are we going to cook today? All right, today I'm doing uh, one of my favorite dishes. Um, and it's been really cold lately, so it's definitely one of those comforting type of foods, but it's not going to be too overwhelming as far as, like, you know, if you want to eat healthy, this is kind of a good mix of comfort and health. Right. And uh, so it's chicken Thai curry. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, um, I got my chicken already cut up here, but mm -hmm. let me go ahead and turn this so guy have, on. So you have, like, maybe a pound of uh, cut up chicken breast? Yeah, about okay. a pound of that. And then, like, like I said, I'm not going to go uh, too heavy on this guy. Uh -huh. But um, I already kind of cut my carrots up. I'm going to try to julienne them a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, you just And wanna... the julienne, I mean, you're a professional, obviously, but it's, it's kind of hard for people to do, you know? It's, it's a, it's... carrots are hard just to cut itself. Yeah, like I said, it's, it's a little, little bit of a challenge to cut these, but, I mean, the presentation, everything after they're done, they, they look really good. Mm -hmm. That's um, right. I mean, if you're not a professional, you're not doing it for anybody, you're just trying to do it for your family and stuff, they're not going to complain. You can cut them in little round slices mm -hmm. and, and nobody's going to say, hey, where's the, where's the Julian carrots? Yeah, <laughs> not going to, you know. Precision is only key when you're doing it for, for restaurants and stuff like that. But like I said, this is definitely a, a meal that I like to prepare at home for myself and for my family. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really easy to do. It's really, like I said, it's really nice. It's really filling. It's got a mix of... Def, uh, sweet and spicy, which I really like to yeah, do in a lot like of my that. food. Yeah. And uh, I'm one of those people that I can I can ha I can tolerate spice, mm -hmm. but I need to have flavor as well. So this is definitely exactly. Good. I like it spicy. I like it hot, but it has to not just be so hot that you can't taste what you're eating. Exactly. You have the co right combo. You know, mm -hmm. the balance in it is really important. You don't want to burn your palate. You want to be able to taste everything you're making. And mm -hmm. so. Great. Like I said, finish this guy up. Is this up. a dish that is made at Slowhouse, or is this just one of your favorite recipes? So it is just one of my favorite recipes. And uh, actually, the, the way I learned how to make this is um, I would go to one of my favorite uh, restaurants in Elk Grove is uh, Thai Chili. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would go down there. I would taste it. I was like, wow, this is, this is really good. I love curry, but mm -hmm. this is something different that I've never really had before. Right. And, uh, sorry about that. No worries. Go ahead and take that away. That's all right. It's hot. Yeah. So, like I said, I went down there a couple of times, tried it, and then I just like, let me see if I can make this. I, I think I know what's in it. I know the basis of a lot of curries. I know the basis of Thai food. Mm -hmm. So I started making it. The first time I made it, it was almost there, but it, you could definitely taste something was wrong. Yeah, you felt like you're missing something? Yeah, uh -huh. but then that's how it is. I think every time I taste a recipe and try to recreate, I'm like, that so almost tastes like it, but it just doesn't. So then, you know, you, you keep playing with it, you keep playing with it, and then eventually, I mean, it, it tastes almost like I'm going to the restaurant. So. I, you know, I totally agree. I made uh, clam chowder over the break, and, you know, I'm like, it's so close. It's almost there. What is it missing? And I had a couple people taste it. They go, no, leave it alone. I go, no, no, it's missing something. There's something missing. And I go, well, maybe a little more white pepper. Okay, yeah, that was good. And then I added some red wine vinegar, mm -hmm. and it just gave it, like, the most minute snap in it. And that was it. I'm like, that's it. That's just like, you know, we have um, in San Francisco by the wharf, this is the flavor. And it, what it did, it brought out the flavor of the clams. So it went from more of a potatoey chowder uh -huh. with that little bit of vinegar to like really clam flavored clam chowder. And I go, oh, I love it when I get it. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty cool because I've never really heard of putting uh, vinegar in chowder before. It ch just made the flavor come alive. And it didn't taste vinegary. I wouldn't say that it was sour whatsoever. No, I mean, not even the least bit. Maybe even a, the sweet snapped out a little bit more, too, from the half and half. Mm -hmm. um, but the clams, like, totally took on, the, on like, real flavor of clams. And that's that's really cool. Yeah, yeah I was so happy. Did the happy dance in the kitchen. <laughs> like, yeah, I got it. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to try that because, like I said, I've never really heard of vinegar. Yeah, it was good. In the, uh, it was good. So, so you're slicing your onions too, kind of, kind of thin, huh, on mm -hmm. the half? Yeah, just like I said, just almost a julienne cut, same thing. You want them kind of a little similar in texture. I like mine a little long, because right. it just gives it a little more presentation. And right. Those people who like to be healthy, and it looks like you have a lot of veggies in there. It's so. true, and I like <laughs> to be healthy. The more veggies, uh, the better. Yeah. So let's see, you got our pan okay. pretty hot here. Yep, turned on? Yeah, thank what you. What temperature you want it on, medium? Uh, we'll have it at low. Just at low, okay. Yeah, Let me I check want it, out it to here. burn really quick. 
All right, I'm going to dump my chicken in. Low. Yeah. All right, and goes the chicken. All right, let that guy cook a little bit. I think I must be hungry because I can smell the spices and I can already smell the chicken. And I'm like, oh, it already smells good. It's not <laughs> even put together yet. Yeah, well, like I said, I kind of put everything uh, together kind of real quick. And then as I, as I dump stuff in, I'll, I'll definitely let you guys know what I'm doing. Okay. So right now with the chicken, what I want to do is kind of got all my wet ingredients, mm -hmm. you know, kind of all there? together. Right here I have, uh, it's like a sriracha garlic spice mm -hmm. chili in here instead of red pepper flakes. I like that a lot better. It's just, uh, it's already kind of pasty right. and it blends in really well with everything. It was red pepper flakes, you might you be hot. You get some hot spots. Exactly. Right, so right. Then I got a uh, chopped up ginger, chopped up earlier. How much you use, like maybe a tablespoon or so? Uh, that's about a maybe tablespoon and a half. I like okay. ginger, so you know, I like a little heavier. And then I got minced garlic in there as well. Okay. So definitely cook that with your chicken. So sriracha, minced garlic, and ginger. Mm -hmm. What do you think about a tablespoon of garlic too? Maybe a tablespoon and a half? Yeah, a tablespoon and a half, okay. you know, garlic. And it, the thing, if you use fresh garlic, I would only go a tablespoon. If you use minced, it's not as strong, it's not as potent. Mm -hmm. So you can do, like I said. Do a little more. Do, do little you like more. the minced garlic that's already minced in the jar? I actually do, depending on what I'm making. Dishes like this, I like it. If I'm mm -hmm. doing something like, you know, I want to do some type of garlic mash and stuff like that, right. I definitely want to have the fresh the stuff. The fresh, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Because it brings out that flavor. There's a little zing to the, um, you know, the chopped garlic. It's mm -hmm. just a little bit different flavor. You know, yeah. like you said, certain things, you can, you can taste it in, and then you go, oh, you know, what's wrong with this? Well, we're going to be right back. We'll take a quick break. Stay with us. We'll see you in a moment. You're watching Amador County's number one news and sports leader, TSPN.